we have a minor setback. Uh oh. Day one. Day one, baby. Today is Monday, the third, 7:42 p.m. I have put on a lot of weight. I'm the heaviest that I've ever been. I want to change physically. I want to look better and I want to feel better. My goal is to reestablish good habits, reestablish my standard of what that looks like, but to be a little bit more specific, I do definitely want to maintain as much lean muscle tissue while losing fat. A bit more muscle definition and a little less fluff, so I feel more confident. Right now I weigh about 195 pounds, so I would like to lose like eight to 10 pounds and maintain as much lean muscle as possible so I have like a better looking physique. I wanna look good, lose some weight, be more athletic. It's something that has been in the back of my mind for a little while, like I wanna do it, I wanna do it, I wanna do it. And there's just always something that comes up or an excuse or, you know, just like waiting for the perfect time. And it's kind of one of those things where you kind of realize like there's never gonna be a perfect time, you just have to start. Tell ourselves all the excuses and justify why we're not doing the things we know we need to do. We're not living up to our potential. And I just kind of got tired of hearing those excuses. Over the last last year, so 2022, was a really hard year. I was on some medication for ADHD. And in that process, when I first started that, I lost a lot of weight, unhealthy. And then I also got off that medication. And then that has been a part of what's helped me put weight back on. But um, I don't know, I just feel like over the last year, 2022, I lost a lot of the habits, lost a lot of the discipline I had. I know that I have the ability to be a much better version of myself. I feel like I just let a lot of my standards um, slip. And that's my biggest motivation for going in this challenge is I just wanna make sure that I am really fulfilling my potential, regaining the best version of myself because um, eventually I wanna have a family someday and there is, you know, that's one of the most important things to me is to be able to lead by example for my friends, peers, but most importantly for my family. 2022 was just a really challenging year. And in fact, this last couple of years have been a really, really challenging year. I had to go through a reconstructive knee surgery and come back. I lost, you know, years of work. Um, and anybody that's been through a big surgery or a big injury like that, mentally tough and also physically tough to, you know, work that back. And uh, I came back really, really strong at that point. Um, and that was during my mom's uh, chemo treatment. And unfortunately a few months later we lost my mom so then of course that's that is a very like traumatic thing that i feel unfortunately a lot of us go through and it's easy to let everything fall apart and everything slip in those times and i mean you know reasonably so life is going to happen and then you know i've i've taken on more and more and more responsibility at work um, I've just had a, you know, life is crazy. Life doesn't slow down just because you go through hard things. And if you do not prioritize yourself, that will be the first thing to go. Like there's a lot of things in life we can't control, but we can control our own actions and we can control our attitude and we can control our food, our movement, the things that actually make us feel good, that build confidence, that truly can also help inspire other people too. So that's one of my biggest motivators and why I actually decided okay, like it's time to make a change. It's time to level up in hopes that I can help other people do the same thing. I am most looking forward to finding that version of myself again who makes myself proud um, because I know that, I know it's in there. Hey, how you feeling? Ready to dominate. They're excited. Come on, Nala. Right. I know. I just want to stretch too. This is my second meal. Have beef and rice already saved.
my gosh. It is now 9.31 and I have a little bit more food to eat, a little bit more water to drink, and we take all of our vitamins and stuff. But overall, I feel like it was a really good day one. Yeah, it was a good day one. And he's only saying that because he won the basketball game. I wasn't even going to bring that up. <laughs> it's one thing to want it. It's nothing to be in it. Because I will say, when you're working, and mm. you know, our life doesn't slow down because we're doing this. Like, we still right. have a million things going on. So, um, You don't realize also um, how, much the, how much of yourself that you neglect until you start to manage it. Right? Oh gosh, so, like, yeah. even just today, like, we both got home and... You know, after tracking our food all day, we realized, all right, we still have a lot of food to eat. And if we weren't yeah, tracking so like, and managing that, cook it, yeah. yeah, we probably would just be like, oh, yeah, we're good. And we would have under-eaten. Mm -hmm. um, Big time, especially protein. Water. Yeah. Protein is, like, the hardest thing. Um, and just by being more mindful of it and actually, like, even, um, you know, having food prepped, that made a huge, huge difference. Yeah. Um, and so, I don't know, it's, I feel really good. Our, even though we're only on day one, I'm right. like, I already feel that momentum. Yeah. And we it have a couple more things. It just feels good to be back in control. Yeah. That's what I like about it. Yeah. But overall, wrapping up day one, you know, do a little check recap. In. Yeah. Check in and um, get some rest. Get up, tackle tomorrow. Okay, we're in day three. We just finished our outdoor walk. Feels good. Feels good to be back in routine. Um, it was beautiful tonight. The stars were out. It was like very peaceful. I didn't take my phone, so it was uh, it was nice. All right, guys. It's officially week one of the challenge down, and Unfortunately, in life, things don't always go as planned. So we have a minor setback. I'll share with you guys here. One minute, 15 seconds left in the game here. Walking buckets up 46 to 34 over winner's win. For a chance to move on to the semifinals. Uh-oh. Injury report. I don't know exactly what happened, but it didn't seem good. <laughs> You know what, though? We're going to still focus on what we can control. I played a basketball game, and at the very end, I tore my Achilles. But whether it's an uh, injury, whether it's something else out of your control, there's a lot of things I can still focus on. I can still focus on this upper body. <laughs> That's right. About to be jacked. Uh, about to be jacked. I can still focus on my nutrition. Um, the habits. last thing you want to do when things don't go your way is just to completely throw in the towel. And so I might not make as great of a transformation as I wanted to in the beginning. However, I can still make progress and I can still, I know that by putting in the work, I'm still going to be in a better position than I would be if I completely quit. So I'm still glad we're doing this challenge because it gives me something to work for, even though <laughs> I'm frustrated, but it is what it is. We'll make it work. That's right. We always do. I'm in a cast. I actually tore my Achilles a week ago and had surgery a few days ago. So I'm a few days out of surgery. So I have my leg propped up here. I'm in a little bit of pain, but it was like a couple years ago I tore my ACL. We are heading to the doctor for the follow-up appointment. Surgery has been almost two weeks ago, as of tomorrow, and I'm hoping, got the cast on, and I'm hoping to get the cast off today and into the boot. We brought, we brought the boot somewhere back here. And then we are heading to Florida. So, Florida. lots of challenges um, throughout this challenge, but we've been really trying to focus on controlling what we can control, making sure specifically to get in protein. So I have a scooter for downstairs, but obviously I can't carry the scooter upstairs. So what I is I keep my crutches at the top of the stairs. So when I crawl up, I can then good around with my crutches and I just keep this park down here. I messed the rug up. So I just crawl on up here. My strategy is knee, foot, knee, foot, knee, foot. <laughs> and then when I get to the top, I can then just grab my crutches. Ah! And that is how I do stairs on one leg. It's been about eight weeks post Achilles surgery. I will say it's been a much, much harder eight weeks than I anticipated. I mean, I knew Achilles injuries were intense. I just didn't realize how intense. I couldn't wait bare for six weeks 
and so the last eight weeks have been really challenging because even right after my surgery I was still trying to do little exercises but if I didn't have my leg elevated at least for the first like week or two it started hurting really bad so even when I did little exercises I couldn't do them for very long um, and so I've been really really inactive which I truly think plays a huge role in like your mentality and mental health as well but the amount of muscle that I've lost in the last eight weeks is extremely discouraging especially because I just went through a lot of these same things very similarly a couple of years ago with my knee whenever I did a reconstructive knee surgery and I had toward my NCL but that I was able to bounce back a lot faster than this one um I'm still in the boot at the boot um <laughs> it's really difficult to get in activity um movement throughout the day so that's really been challenging i mean i would say like i said it's been challenging but um i've been able to be you know moderately consistent with some things um workouts haven't been optimal um but movement i'm really prioritizing just getting steps in getting walks in um got a few rucks in you know with her not being able to be weight bearing things like that like there's a, a more demand on me as well to mm -hmm. maintain things around the house to you know help her with all of her normal. everything shared a little bit of the my journey on instagram but a lot of what people don't see is like at first jeff had to literally help me in and out of the shower um i, I still have to use a shower chair which is like so silly <laughs> i have to crawl up and down the stairs so it's one of those things jeff usually runs up and gets it gets it um, I need so to be get my steps in. Yeah, getting the steps in. Um, I need to be elevating my foot as much as possible and trying to stay off of it. I'm really only supposed to be doing 3,000 steps a day, um, and that was after I was able to start weight bearing. I uh, I did see some results um, over the last eight, seven, eight weeks. Um, it's not like I went. I didn't go backwards, so that's something unfortunate. Of. I did go forwards, um, just not as quickly or as uh, far as I wanted to go forward. So we just wanted to continue to document this journey and kind of give an update on how the last eight weeks have been, where we're currently at. When you set a goal for yourself and you start things start moving in the right direction, you're building momentum and then you have a big setback like this, a lot of things are outside my control. I really, really miss going on walks with the dogs. That's probably been one of the hardest things is not being able to just not only get in movement for myself, but it's really hindered them getting exercise as well. Constantly living in like severe fear of like, okay, one wrong step, I'm gonna re tear my my uh, injured leg, or I'm gonna re tear my good leg, or, or I'm gonna tear my good leg. And I don't know, there's just so much that goes into it that like with injuries that makes things really challenging but no matter whatever setback you have it's easy to get caught up in like the fear and the ne like negative momentum just like positive momentum we're kind of at a place now where hopefully i'll be getting out of the boot soon i'm able to do a little bit more exercises i'm much more mobile than i was a couple of weeks ago it's been hard to be as consistent as we need to be and you know our goal is to just increase the amount of days that we are winning and you know we know there's still gonna be things that set us back and we're likely gonna lose days in the future too but um, that's just kind of our mentality. It's like win as many as you can um, and then try to limit the losses. We are excited to continue to document this journey. We are going to check back in in a month and and showcase what we've been, the progress we've been putting in, the habits that we're building and how far we've come in that month. So if you want to do this alongside us, comment below and, you know, we can all do it together.